Please be ready for a dictation of exercise number 20 from Progressive Magazine of July 2022. Five seconds. Start. I am delighted to participate in the concluding celebrations of the Golden Jubilee of SN College in Kerala. Meeting students and young people is always a matter of joy for me. I see in their eyes that sparkle and faces that dream. The sight fills me with hope and confidence about the future of our nation. This hope and confidence in the future of India, however, increases multifold when I come to a college like this, which is itself the creation of a revolutionary dream, a dream born in the trials, tribulations and turbulence of Kerala's freedom movement. SN College is not an ordinary educational institution. It is the product of a social revolution inspired by the teachings and the personal mission of one of the greatest reformers of modern India, Sri Narayana Guru. It opened the gates of education to those sections of our society which were denied the opportunity in the orthodox social order. It thereby established the principle that education, including higher education, is the birthright of every human being, of the poor as well as of the rich, of the so-called backward classes, as much as the forward classes in society. What started as a small and weak sapling in June 1948, that is before independent India was one year old, has grown into a big tree in five decades and is still growing. What is more important, the energy unleashed by this college in Kerala soon gave birth to a chain of Sri Narayana colleges throughout Kerala. Thus, thanks to the untiring efforts of the SN Dharma Education Trust, higher education came within the reach of children from the oppressed class. From the darkness of segregation and illiteracy, Kerala entered the light of knowledge for all. I therefore bow my head before the memory of this great saint, Sri Narayana Guru, for his contribution to the social transformation of Kerala and India. In Sri Narayana Guru, Kerala produced a legend who brought about a revolution of a unique kind, peaceful and one based on the transformation of man's heart and soul. The teachings were anchored in the ageless spiritual and cultural values of India. Precisely for this reason, his clarion call against social discrimination, one caste, one religion, one God for man and a durable effect and, and brought about social stability in our national history as such. Unfortunately, these spiritual and social values had been abandoned and overtaken by the very priestly class which was supposed to uphold and propagate them. The oppressive religious orthodoxy 
divided the Hindu society into many castes and sub-castes. Some of the castes that were condemned to the lowest rung of the social hierarchy became not only untouchable but also unapproachable. Swami Vivekananda, who visited Kerala in 1882, had expressed deep displeasure about the prevailing social order. Today, a hundred years later, the whole world talks of a Kerala model as a tribute to your state's commendable progress in the social sector, in the fields of education, healthcare, and women's empowerment. Many noble men and women have contributed to this transformation. Sri Narayana Guru's name will figure high in this list. It is perhaps not so coincidental that the last idol that Sri Narayana Guru consecrated at the Shivagiri Ashram was that to Saraswati, the goddess of learning. Sri Narayana Guru's teachings have a great relevance even today and not only for the society in Kerala. Indian society has come a long way from the time when Sri Narayana Guru lived and struggled for social equality and justice. Still, we have a long way to go. It is therefore necessary to look at social reformers like him as the guiding light in our march towards a new India, an India of care and compassion for all and an India of unity and harmony among all our diverse communities. Friends, education is the best instrument to rebuild our nation into a new India that we all collectively dream of Kerala has taken the lead in achieving near total literacy. It has also established a chain of educational institutions that cater to the needs of all the communities in your state. Now looking to the future, your state needs to scale higher levels of achievements in education. I would like to see Kerala to create more and more centers of excellence in education. The center should attract the best students from not only other parts of India, but also all over the world. The next century is going to be knowledge driven. Hence, the global demand for high quality education is certain to rise immensely. If India can create centers of excellence in scientific, technical, medical, management and humanities education, they will become the preferred campuses for students all over the world. They will also earn valuable foreign exchange for the country. In many ways, Kerala is ideally suited to take this new and ambitious step in the march of education. The matchless natural beauty that Kerala offers is ideal for learning. Stop.